In this video, we'll be learning how to solve equations with fractions. In our example, we have x over 3 minus x over 5 equal to 3. Now, to solve this equation, we need to isolate the variable by getting rid of the fractions. And how we do that is by finding the least common denominator between the 3 and the 5. And so the least common denominator is 15 over 1. So we're going to multiply both sides by 15 over 1. So utilizing the distributive property, we have 15 times x is 15x divided by 3. I forgot the x right there. And then 15 times a negative x is a negative 15x divided by 5 equals 3 times 15 is 45. Now our next step is to simplify these fractions. So 15 divided by 3 is 5x, or 15x divided by 3 is 5x, and 15x divided by 5 is 3x, and it equals 45. Now we're going to combine like terms. 5x minus 3x is going to give us 2x equals 45. And then we always know that the coefficient, the number that's in front of the variable x, is attached to it by multiplication. So using our inverse properties, we will divide by 2 on both sides to isolate the variable. Therefore, we will get x equals 45 divided by 2. Let's try another one. How about the letter variable m divided by 3 minus 2m divided by 5 equals 1 fifth. Now we have three fractions this time. Every term is a fraction. So when we find the least common denominator, we will see that 15 goes into 3 5 times and 5 goes into 15 3 times. So we're going to multiply both sides by 15 as well. 15 over 1 and multiply this side by 15 over 1. All right. So let's go ahead and use distributive property. 15 times m is 15m divided by 3. 15 times a negative 2m is a negative 30m divided by 5. And then 15 times 1 is 15 divided by 5. Now, you might ask yourself, hey, what did I do different? I just got rid of the um, did distributive property. So now let's simplify. 15m divided by 3 is 5m minus 30 divided by 5 is 6m. 30m divided by 5 is 6m. And then 15 divided by 5 is 3. So when I combine like terms right here, and you might be thinking, wait, I didn't get rid of the fractions here. You're right. We didn't get rid of the fractions, but we did multiply them out to simplify. You can skip this step by using some mental math when you are distributing the 15. 15 times m is 15m divided by 3 is 5m. That will come in practice. So it might be a little bit easier going from fractions to having no fractions with skipping this middle step in between. So 5m minus 6m is a negative m equals 3. Now I'm not quite finished because this negative is really a negative 1. I usually say it's an invisible 1. So negative 1, I'm going to divide by negative 1 on both sides. That's going to give me m equals a negative 3. 
there you go. So when we're solving equations with fractions, we need to make sure that we find the common denominator and that will tell us what we're gonna multiply both sides with uh, of the equation. You can cut out this middle step right here by doing mental math. But if I'm just learning this, I probably am going to insert this step until I feel extremely comfortable from going from a fraction and coming back down to this, this next step here. So keep on working at it. Check out with more videos at Math is Simple on YouTube channel. And good luck to you guys. See you guys later.